Hey, welcome back, beautiful collective. Thank you for joining me here. I'm going to get your financial messages out before anything else. Because once we start talking love, the finances don't seem to come. So let's talk about the collective's finances. Collective energy. Hmm. This card wants to show some of you are leveling up going up the next level it says taking your finances or business to the next level Ooh, it's like doing spell work over your finances it's like saying um what It says, be wary of casting the wrong spells. Somebody could be giving you the evil eye. Like if you, if you're, some of you, by me getting all garbled in my words, somebody is doing some kind of wrong spells. Somebody could be giving you the evil eye because you're moving up to the next level. Like when I went to speak my speech, this is speaking wrong. This is like, um, be careful doing spell work in casting the wrong spells. What's going on? Because you're getting a lot of recognition here. You will get the recognition and the rewards that you deserve. You're not going to get recognized if no one knows who you are. Your hesitation to grab the spotlight is keeping your talents hidden. What's this? Comfort. Your income is steady and living comfortably. Keep raising the bar and get out of your comfort zone. Being too comfortable and playing life too safe could be hurting your success. <sighs> Spirituality. Use money magic spells to increase wealth and prosperity. Spiritual advisor, healer, tarot reader, or anything in the occult. You've been guided to discover your own unique spiritual path right now. Um, but you're being told to get out of the comfort zone. You might be playing things too comfortable. Don't get too complacent. Don't get comfortable. Always keep something increasing. Unleash and build wealth with your spirit animal. This could be veterinarians, groomers, trainers, or any career working with animals. Reawaken the wild and free spirit that has been asleep for far too long. Hmm. It's telling you to read books on finance to expand your knowledge. Going to school to expand a skill set or working for a school district. Work with a mentor to learn new skills or help you achieve your goals. So you got to be careful of who you're getting to do spell work. If you don't know how to do your own spell work, you're better off not doing them. 
But if you are going to somebody who knows about money magic, they better know what they're doing. Because they could be casting the wrong spells. And I'm telling you, you can manifest without doing um, spell work. Because some of these people who are promising to do spell work over your finances are casting the wrong spells. They have the evil eye. They could be sending you the evil eye. When people look into your um, destiny and people are looking into you, They're casting their own spells. Either do it yourself. <laughs> I would not trust anybody to do no money, money, magic, rituals, spell work over my finances. So you've got to be your own motivator here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm getting a bad vibration with this because someone is on the underground dealing with negative entities and negative energies here, and I don't like it. And I'm going to be real. Like, if you're, you can do your own money magic casting of spells for your own money. I wouldn't trust anybody else to do it for me. I'm being real here. So if you're doing that, somebody could actually have the evil eye for you when they look into your finances. And they could be sending you the evil eye. That's what's being said. So either learn to do it yourself. But don't be dealing with people who they should not be touching your finances or looking into your finances. I'm just going to put it out there. Because they are competing with you. And, and they got blood on their hands, guys. I don't like it one bit. Listen to the guidance of your own soul. You're discovering the myriad of facets of who you truly are see you have the power to do this you're a great manifester you yourself have the power to do that do not be going to nobody to do that rituals or spell work over your finances because they look into it and they get jealous and they get envious. Do not be doing it. Spirit saying, do not do it. You could be casting the wrong spells. So if you are going to be doing it, you better learn to do it the right way. It says some tweaking needs to be done. Pay extra attention to details and facts. It's saying to do the work. 
get motivated and do the work yourself. I, I, I'm sorry, but it's coming out. Now let's get you love messages, collective energy. Envy. Envy. There is a spellcaster here. Oh, but they're envious, see? So, that is definitely a message that spirit wants you to know. You have the power yourself. I don't care. You can learn it yourself. You don't need to go to anybody else to be doing no spell casting over your finances. Jesus, they look at your destiny and they're going to go, oh, envy, envy. That's the evil eye. No, 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 no. You, any, you're a powerful manifester and it is your thoughts that manifest. You are the Empress. Come on. The High Priestess. What's going on? You have the power to do your own spell work. Hmm. Because I'm telling you, somebody is competing with you. And envious. This is a spell caster, perhaps. Could even be a family member. Doing blockages. Because this is abundance. Bala. Now this could be a creative new idea. Yeah, you're going to, somebody's in regret here. And, and, and don't be doing it. Don't be doing it. Don't be doing it. You know, someone could be having like, I know this. I got to watch what I say here. You could have a really good future, a bright destiny. And this is making someone hurt. Look, and I'm telling you, look. Someone could be stabbing you in the back. Do not trust anyone to cast spells over your money, your finances. You have the power within you. You're a great manifester to do this all on your own. Because it's almost as if... What I say... I can't make this stuff up, guys. When it's meant for you, it is meant for you. You're a powerful manifester. And this is your destiny. You could be leveling up. You could give, be getting promotions, raises. Spirit is saying the recognition will come to you. Like, but you got to put yourself out there to do it. You've got some envious people here. Envy, a 
for your finance. You have somebody envious of your wealth or your finances or you're getting out there. You're a powerful manifester. And somebody is... I don't know if they're casting their own spells or what the hell they're doing. This is a masculine... It's like you have a bright future. But someone's envious of your blessings. This could be this other lover, or it could be your person themselves being envious of you. Somebody could be casting spells on your money. Ooh. I can't make this up. I said dealing with lower entities. For selfish reasons and self-gain. Greed. They could be trying to create blockages. You will get the recognition you deserve, but you've got to put yourself out there. You've got to think positively. This is a negative energy. Someone's pissed off and angry. You will get the recognition and rewards that you deserve. You're being divinely guided to get out there. Be seen. Be seen. In love and in finance. Hmm. Hmm.
this is a very negative, negative outlook. This is a... Uh, uh, This is you getting the recognition you deserve. You know what? When you were with this person, They may have had like a real negative mindset about money. Like, and you have a positive mindset about money. And words and thoughts are casting spells. So this person's negativity toward money, toward finances, could have been holding you back. And that can be spell work as well words and thoughts, a negative outlook about the future, a negative outlook about money. Listen to the guidance of your soul. You could be discovering the mirage of facets of who you truly are. You have more talents than one. You have several talents. Listen to the guidance of your soul keeps coming out. Hmm. You're a great motivator and you want to be around motivational people. People who inspire you. People who motivate you. And it's getting out of your comfort zone. And a lot of you could be homebodies. 
And if you want love in your life, you're going to have to get off the couch. You're going to have to get out there. <laughs> Same with jobs. You know, if you're in an unsatisfying job, just staying there out of comfortability, you're being challenged to do more. You're being, like, challenged to do something new. the evil eye because somebody's insecure. Take care everyone. So don't be taken going uh, don't be doing it. Don't be uh, going to people you do not know doing no money magic spells you're a powerful manifester and you have the gifts and the talents to do it yourself make sure you do not cast the wrong spell and i would only trust yourself to do that take care